Hello friends, this is a small excel. This is the continuation of my previous video in using measures in Power Pivot. So it's like measures versus power measures versus power pivot. So the main agenda of this video is how to create a KPI. So these are for the previous video where I have made the data or made the formulas in power in power pivots so these are the three these are the four i have made in power pivots and apart from that i have made uh, the same thing in um, measures so please refer to my previous videos on that so now the problem is when you are doing the uh, when you are doing measures this can be converted into kpis but the collection of the formulas in power pivots cannot be done so if you want to see that you can see these are the formulas written in dax in power pivot but here we cannot make this into kpi so you cannot create, create a kpi in this but measures these are the measures so the measures can be created so you can see when you when i click here i can create a kpi so it's the same thing which is there so the measures can be created in kpi but the same formula you can see difference and i have made here also difference so the same formula i have made so here also but you can see i cannot create this into a kpi because it is not a measure so measures which are the same things which are we can see over here so these measures also are, can be seen from here and they can be created in kpi or if you close this you can see the measures are the same measures over here also manage measures so all those measures are the same and this also can be created in the measures can be created in the kpi so if i have not in no kpi so it is showing no kpis but here i can add a new kpi Suppose if I want to make a KPI for different, what is the use of KPIs? KPI is nothing but uh, conditional formatting, what I can say is, if you see, if you can home and you can see conditional formatting, you can see these bars and just uh, techniques, iconic sets. So you can see the things, uh, the things are moving when I select any data and I just you can see how the things are moving so so it is the same thing but it is not it is made separately but this condition format is will be on the same row or column so kpis will be segregated different in a different scenario so they will be near to you so if the kpis are evaluated in evaluated in values goals and status so I'll be showing you how to raise make a KPA. Now I have a column for difference. So let me make let's make for difference one because difference is here. So this is not a difference. But this is made in measures. So these are measures. So if you see these FX values are these are under measures. So for difference, when you make a KPI, you can see that the structure will be made as a traffic signal. So the it will be not a normal one. It will go into just looking like a traffic signal. So if you are just let's start the KPI. So difference one. So to go to oh, power pivots KPIs and a new KPI. So all this will be available here. So we are looking for difference one. So we should give a value, so it should be a measurable value. So absolute value, I can give any number, but uh, if you see the difference are within, so 10,000, so the highest value is 10,000. So I will be giving this into 10,000, we can even give 1,000 or 1 or 10,000. So there are different sectors in this. I will be, you can select this, uh, this or even this. Or it's a black and white, so let's select this one here. So 
So now you can manually you can drag and drop. So you can see 5,000. So within 5,000 or this, it will be showing a different KPI. So it will be showing us 5,000 is in a danger zone. So above 8,500 is a normal zone, and here above 8,500 will be in a green zone. So yeah, you can change this into different pattern also. You have different patterns. You can say change this pattern also. So now I'm taking a simple one difference, but you can see that once I take this difference, the things over here will be changing. So you can see difference has changed and it has become into a traffic signal. So as I showed you the index it is like value goal and status. So now if you click, you can see values. So this is difference. This is a goal and this is a status. So if you just have a cursor over here, so it is giving the difference. If you want, you can remove this also if you don't require. But you can see the goal. And this is the status. So we have made a KPI into this form. So it's giving this the difference all the negative balance are in the reds and all the positive is in green so even the lowest is in 155 now if you want to have positive in green you can go and manage the kpi so if you want to have this in a negative you can make this into a zero till a zero So this is a negative. So above 5,000, 4,000 will be in this area. Another. So you can change here also, but I will be keeping this one. Okay, now you can see there are changes. So zero, this will come in the yellow zone. The positive values are coming in the yellow zone. And uh, the negative values are coming in the uh, the lowest value has come has come in the uh, the lowest value has come in the red zone. So the highest value has come in the yellow zone. So above some value. So like this, you can play with this. If you want, you can remove the status also. If you don't want that goal, you can remove this. So it will be gone. So the same thing I will be doing is lowest also. So now this it will become will be becoming a traffic signal. So go to KPI. Now you can see man in manage KPI you have difference. So you can have a new KPI also from here. And it will be for lowest one. So I can select lowest one. And uh, I can give a measure on the other basis, but I will be giving obsolete value. So lowest one also I will be giving into 1000 or 10,000, whatever it is, and I will be giving, let's give in some different format. So, so a different format over here, you can give a signal traffic signal also. It's just for understanding of the how to make a KPI. So but it will be reverse, it will be showing in the reverse format. So this is the best one. So the red ones will be in the lowest ones. So if you make this to 2000, and uh, somewhere over here, and just to OK, and you can see. The lowest has become in this format, and you can see how this has been added over here. So, if you want in lowest, also you can you can have a signal, you can have a goal, lowest ten thousand, or you can have a status. So, the status is in this way. So, what will count for the lowest one and the green for the highest one? And if it's too much low. <coughs> It will be in red color. So these are the way how to create a KPI 
if you want, I can create for uh, uh, access and deficit also. We will be doing that also. Manage KPI, you can see one, two. So I can go from new from here also. So it is the same. Or I can go from data models uh, from power power pivots also. So now if I click this, this is my measure, and I can create a KPI from this here also. So so excess and deficit is just a uh, wordings. There is no. No, there's no values in that. It's just wordings. So for wordings, we don't have any answer. So it's just text over here. So this is the way we have to can create a KPI, and this is the same same way. It is similar to conditional formatting. So I hope you understand how to create a KPI and how to use this. And in next video also, I'll be showing you how to do the break-even analysis, and I will be showing you how to make a KPI and how to have a measure for this. So now, if you go, the KPI is an absolute value, and you can show, be showing you how to do on the measures. The KPI is on measures, and just how to check the KPI is on the that basis. I'll be showing you in a separate video. So I hope you find this video useful. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share this video and oh, please give me your valuable comments and likes or dislikes. So I'd like to thank you for watching the video and see you in the next video. Thank you very much.